Table Explorer feature in BigQuery allows you to visually explore the data contained in various tables as well as allows you to write SQL queries without actually knowing SQL. So it's a visual interface for you to write SQL queries. So if you're ready, now let's go to BigQuery and see how this works. Log into your BigQuery account and go to the project where you have the tables that you want to explore and write the queries for. Scroll down and expand the project where you have your data or the tables. Further scroll down, find the table and click on it. Now the table schema shows up. The schema shows you the names of the fields that are in that table and it also shows you the type of data that's contained in that field as well as some other information regarding that column. Keep in mind, field is also known as column in the table. Now to explore the data and write the SQL query based on certain fields or columns, you will need to select those columns from this list. So let's say if I want to see all the event names that are being captured in this table, then I'll go ahead and select this column. You can select other columns as well, and they will all be part of your exploration as well as your SQL query. You can select up to 10 columns. Event parameter, which is a record type of column, is not yet supported. So if I select that, I will get an error. This limitation also applies to user properties column. However, there are other record type columns such as user LTV device, etc., which have predefined parameters. Those will work similar to other fields. So keep that in mind. For now, let's just go ahead and pick event name and user pseudo ID. You can play with the rest of the columns and if you run into any issues, then leave a comment for me. So let's go ahead and pick user pseudo ID. So we're picking two columns. Once the columns are selected, go up to the explore button, which shows up right above your field list and click on it. This is the button that will allow you to explore the table and create the SQL query for you. Go ahead and click on explore. Now you'll see two sets of records are shown here. One contains the event names, that's the column we selected, and the other contains the user IDs. And the count next to each value shows you the number of times that value is in that particular table that we are exploring. You might have noticed that by clicking on the explore button in the previous screen, we are now in table explorer tab. Instead of selecting the columns in the schema tab, we could have directly come to table explorer and selected the fields that we wanted. When you are directly coming to table explorer, you would click on select fields. So if we now click on select fields, these two fields will already be selected because we made the selection in the previous window. However, if you directly come here, then this will be all empty. So click on select fields and here you'll see the list of all the columns. Two of them are already selected. You can select any other columns that you want. Keep in mind, the limit is 10. And here it says unsupported field types have been excluded, which means the fields that cannot be explored are no longer here. Those fields, as I mentioned before, were event parameters and user properties. I'm not going to select any more fields here, but if you want, you can select them and click on save. I'm going to click on cancel. Underneath the data for each of these columns is the SQL query that gets generated. The SQL query here shows you the column names that we selected and in the from statement is the name of the table that we chose to explore. Now you can click on copy to query to copy this query in a new window where you can run this SQL query and see the final result. However, you can also further refine this SQL query by selecting values from one of the columns. So let's say if I want to narrow down this query to only show me the data for scroll and click events, then I can select those from here. There are other columns in this view as well that I can select. So once you select the values, they will be added as a where clause in your SQL query. Here, you'll notice the SQL query changed 
and a where clause is included. I cannot select data from multiple columns here. That's the limitation it has. But for now, the SQL is created. You can click on copy to query and this opens up the SQL query in another window where you can run this query as is or you can further modify it to get your desired result set. I'm going to run it as is, so click on run. And here you can see the result. We're selecting two columns, event name and user pseudo ID. So that's it. BigQuery Table Explorer feature is a great way for you to explore the data in any given table and then write simple SQL queries. Go ahead and practice this. And if you want to further learn SQL or BigQuery, then check the link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video.